Hello and welcome to week 30 of Workout Wednesday for Power BI. This week is our fourth week of Power Query month and we're going to use Power Query to analyze text data. Full credit to Chris Webb, whose blog post inspired this week's challenge. He analyzed words from Shakespeare, but we're going to analyze Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. In this solution, I'm going to use the advanced editor sum. Uh, that's because that's what's easiest for me. You could probably get through this exercise just using the GUI and the formula bar. Uh, but I'm trying to make my queries a bit more efficient. So that's why I'm kind of following roughly the same route as what Chris's code does. If you get stuck, you can literally go to Chris's blog post, copy it out, delete the last two steps, and just use that. So we're going to take all the words from the book, group them together, count the number of occurrences of each word, and then remove stop words, which are just really common words like a and the, uh, to see what other meaningful words are left. Uh, another part of the challenge this week is to avoid using a word cloud. Word clouds are kind of the go-to thing for a lot of people as soon as you say text analysis, but there are other options out there ranging from very simple to very complex. I tend to prefer simple because they are easy to understand, but you can click the word clouds or lame link to find out about some of the limitations of word clouds and alternatives. So let's take a look at the report we're building. Um, this is our final product. And on page two, I just have extra information about the source, the images I used, as well as a link to Chris's blog post and something we'll need for later in the steps to in Power Query. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start by opening a blank query. You could also start by using a web um, data source. And the first thing I'm going to do is just put in my URL. And then I'm going to add in this text from binary. So I'm going to go ahead and click done so you can see it. And this is, in fact, the text from that URL. And right now, this is just text. It's not a list or a table. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch back and forth between using the GUI and not, just so we can see it. And I'm making all the words lowercase. And then I'm going to remove punctuation. And this is the part that I actually find to be easier to do in the advanced editor because I can do stuff like this. Remove punctuation equals text.select and I'm going to call this one lowercase like I did in the example. And then I can do this list.combine thing and that's um, pretty helpful and concise and we'll see what this does oops we'll see what this does in the data preview so you'll notice it took out took out all the punctuation a lot of the blanks the paragraph um, line breaks so now we've got it all lowercase and split. And if I reopen the advanced editor, I 
I'm going to do something a little special here just because I like this better than what I can do in the GUI. So I'm actually splitting into words by white space. So here I've defined what I'm going to do. And then I'm using that on the line above it. And now I have a list of words. And here's a good place to remove blanks. So I'm going to do that as well. And it just adds this extra step that says if one of the things in the list is just blank, then take it out or a space really take it out. And now I can turn my list into a table and you could do this through the GUI, but I'm going to use a couple of options that are a little easier to just type in here. So I'm going to do table from list and do table from columns, referencing my list where I just removed the blanks and then type table word equals text. And I'm just going to change the bottom so you can see the preview so far. And now we actually have a table with those words. The next thing we need to do is to group based on word and do account rows. And I'm going to let it be called count. So now I have the word and the number of times it was used. So each word only appears in the table once. I'm going to call this find word counts. Now I need to use my stop words and that's the list that comes from the CSV file in data.world. And there's a connector for data.world that I like to use. And you get the owner and the data set from the URL I provided. You don't have to enter a query. And there's our exclude words. I'm going to go ahead and rename query one. Check out query two. And now I want to merge these queries because I'm going to use exclude words to remove some of the values in the Frankenstein word count. So what we're going to do is choose word and word. But to do this right, we need to change our join kind. So most of the time we do a left outer join, left outer join, meaning that we take all the results from the top table and only the matching ones from the bottom table. But if we do a left anti join, we're taking only the rows in the first table that do not match anything in the second table. So that's going to remove 115 words. And I actually don't need the column now that I've done the merge, so I'm just going to remove it. 
And then I don't need exclude words as a table, so I'm disabling the load. And that just leaves me with one table with word and count. And there's our two fields on the right. And I'm going to go get a visual, a custom visual called horizontal bar chart. because I like that it lets me put the text value for word in the bar. So I'm gonna do a couple things here since I know my end result. And go ahead and add my image. give it a title, and then I'm going to build my first visual using the horizontal bar chart, but I'm going to customize my current theme a little bit and change everything to Kandara because I feel like it fits our theme better. And I want the background to be essentially 100% transparent. So I'm going to add word and count. And right now, it's going to be the default green color, and it's going to be all of the words, which is some 12,000 or something. So we need to add a filter. We're going to add a top in filter, and I chose 30 because that's about the most I could fit in a reasonable visualization on a page. And then we need to make some formatting adjustments. First, I'm going to enter some alt text. Then I'm going to turn on font size and make that a little bit bigger. Go to my bar settings and make my color a dark red. and my text color white so that it has good color contrast. The labels, I'm going to say my highlight color is that lightest gray. And my font for the labels is it's black, but not pure black. And then to make everything fit, I'm changing the bar height so I have no scroll bar. And then I can adjust the width of it. Doesn't need to be overlapping with my background image. Then I will add a smart narrative. And you'll notice it said no summaries found, and that's okay, because we're going to make our own. So I'm going to start with some basic text and just say in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus, the most used word after removing the stop words is
1. And I'm going to put that in quotes. Which was used. There we go. 173 times out of, add another value here, 12,306 distinct words. thousand three hundred and twenty six were used only once and then make my font size a little bigger help oh, fix my title and let's say 30 most used words after removing common stop words. And then I added a visual for Frankenstein at the bottom to go with my Frankenstein facts. And then I make sure to add alt text here so it's bust of Frankenstein with green skin and saggy eyes is commonly portrayed in popular media because it goes with my fact here at the bottom that although he's commonly portrayed as having green skin in the book, he's described as having yellow skin and black lips, but also really pretty hair and pearly white teeth. So that is all of our requirements. This is Megan Longoria, and I hope you enjoyed this week's challenge.